Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Trouble Free. In this video, I'm going to explain you about the SSL handshake protocol in the subject of cryptography and network security. So basically, this is the continuation of the previous video where we have discussed about the SSL protocol and SSL record protocol. If you have not watched that video, I recommend you to first watch that and then come here. Okay, so you already know what is SSL, right? Secure socket layer. So in SSL, we have various protocols we have a protocol stack and in that handshake protocol is one so in this video we will learn about handshake protocol change cipher uh, that is cipher sec protocol and also SSL alert protocol okay so first SSL handshake protocol basically it ensures authentication so in the previous video where I explained you about the record protocol there we have seen that uh, before record protocol I explained you about what SSL is right in SSL we have confidentiality integrity and authentication so we got integrity and confidentiality with the help of record protocol then what about authentication we get the authentication with the help of SSL handshake protocol got it so here uh, this is most complicated most complex part in the SSL it is very hard to understand actually but I have simplified it for you but still if you want to know it in depth uh, I'm just I'm frankly telling you I'm just explaining you it for the exam purpose but if you really want to know in depth of this you can watch other videos on YouTube or you can even uh, you know learn it from Google as well but for making you to understand easily i'm telling it in a very simple terms without going more deeper into that next it uh, the main thing what handshake protocol will do is it will do the key exchange between the client and server got it so now we will see the working of this handshake protocol so basically first what happens is the client will establish a connection with the server that is the client is getting connected to the server it can be through anything it can be a wired connection it can be a wireless connection so if it is a wireless connection that is you're giving your username and password right so you will be first initially you will be establishing a connection with the server done so once you establish the connection with the server then what server will do server will send a key to the client that is the key exchange will happen between the server and client that is the server will initiate the key exchange just to verify that whether the client is an authorized person or not right and in this third step what is happening key exchange from client to server next in the fourth step handshake is done from the server that is okay you are authorized person so in simple ways i'll tell you so if you want to log in to your gmail account that is you want to access your mails first what you will do you will go to the google right opening google is establishing connection with server i am just telling you for remembering only okay this is not the whole concept between the handshake protocol so uh, you will be opening the Google so assume it as connection establishment next what you next what Google will do it will ask you to give your login credentials right so that is key exchange from the server to client that is server the Google is asking you the client to give the uh, username and password that is your login credentials in the third step key exchange from client to server that is the client is giving login credentials to the server right uh, your username your password you have given so that is you know just relate it so that you can easily remember in the fourth step handshake done from the server that is the server says okay done you are correct you're all set to log in whatever details you have given is correct you can log in so server has given you a green signal that is handshake is done from the server end so this is how the SSL handshake protocol will work okay and this is the authentication this is how authentication is ensured so authentication is how authentication is you know um, achieved bit by key exchange between the server and client in these two steps we get the authentication got it so this is about the SSL handshake protocol and again I'm telling you this is not the whole concept between behind the uh, handshake protocol it is much more complicated so it has much more concepts but for your exam purpose I just simplified it for you next protocol is SSL change cipher protocol so here we have actually only one message in change cipher protocol and that is also of single byte 
that is the size is only one byte one byte size it has that's all and what it will do it will copy the pending state into the current state if there is any pending state in the messages in the uh, communication those are copied into the current state that is these are yet to be addressed or these are yet to be answered like that okay so the previous state or the pending states are copied into the current state and that is the only thing which this ssl chain cipher sec protocol does next we have is the ssl alert protocol so basically alert protocol also is very simple so in alert protocol what you will do is whatever alerts are related to ssl those alerts are sent to the clients so alerts in the sense nothing but notifications notifications will be sent to the client from the ssl end through this ssl alert protocol got it clear done now again it has two bytes so in chain cipher sec protocol we have only one byte right but here it is not like that it has two bytes and uh, it can have values as one or two so I'm speaking about byte one so byte one and byte two see the byte one can have value as one or two if the value is one it indicates that the uh, it is giving warning not indication warning that something fishy is happening something wrong is happening uh, you have to check but still we don't respond but still we are not responding we are not checking it then the error becomes fatal that is you need to terminate it you need to completely stop it right you need to terminate you need to stop what connection the connection has to be stopped right now so when it gives one it means that something is wrong something is uh, fishy you have to check even though if we cannot if we were not able to identify or if we are not checking on time it becomes fatal error and because of that the connection will be terminated and byte 2 what byte 2 will do it will specify the type of the error i said here some error is happening right so what is that error will be specified by this byte 2 second byte got it so this is about the ssl alert protocol so in this video we have discussed about what is ssl handshake protocol uh, ssl chain cipher protocol ssl alert protocol uh, you if you want to still um, you know learn in depth about these things you can do that in the other channels or you know uh, in the google and so many websites you can learn that but for you to you know make it easier for your exams i'm telling this uh, only this topic i'm telling like that the remaining topics i'll explain you in depth only don't worry about that so this is all about this video and if you're still having any doubts apart from what i've explained in this just let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to answer all your doubts for sure and uh, that's all let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic if you are having any video suggestions for me just let me know in the comment section i'll try to complete this subject as soon as possible i as soon as i can and i'll definitely start another subjects as well uh, for your semester exams if you just let me know what subject you want me to start okay so that's all let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic so till then stay tuned to my channel just subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and thanks for your support